And despite that guy still standing, he is also still dead. I don't, I don't understand what's going on today, but not everything that I kill is remaining dead. Oh, fantastic, we have a thing over here that we'll need to deal with. The pasty chew, balls and holes. Not suggestive at all. Pick up a ball from the dispenser, uh, place the ball in the lane, pick a direction, click to put power, we'll score as many as possible. All right, pick up, oh, we have to hold it. I wanna go straight, oh, that's not straight at all. And then like there. That was terrible. All right, I, I am usually terrible at skee ball, but we'll try it. Okay, there, there, there. Hey, I got something. I thought it was going to be uh, a little bit better than that, but whatever. That is not good. All right, we'll try there. That was way too far over. Okay, 500, how much do I need? And why am I failing so hard at it? Oh, come on! That was so close. That was so close. Right around there. I felt like I had it there. I felt like I had it. All right, we'll we'll go. Damn it. This is not this is not good at all. Three. Okay, I need I need five hundred, and I have a times three. All right, we'll go with uh, that. There we go. I get a blue token for it. Okay, once again, I want to I want to get two of everything, so I'll try to go fast here. There, there. Two hundred. That's good for for the time being. Yeah, I'm fine with two hundred, just all the way through. God, the music here is terrible. There's three. Going faster actually makes me better, apparently. Except for that. I need to stop going for a thousand. There's no point in it, really. Not considering how easy it is to get the 1300 that I need. I can't even tell if I was low or whatever. Alright, I, I win as long as I get something here. Easy enough. Alright, let's quit. We got two. We got what we came for. I didn't see what that said. I apologize. It probably just said that you get it from balls and holes. Empty. Alright, can I go through here? I cannot go through here. Can you tell me about this then? This is starting to get ridiculous. It's like I'm a freshman again, back in school at the old academy. This is all Apocalyptics 101. Is it supposed to th throb? What is this thing? Well, this is a cataract. You learn about these your first day in intro to Apocalyptics, what the kids call the intro to the outro. This is what happens when extra normal energies pierce our universe. You can see how the surface is opaque there. It refracts reality. Someone, or a group of someone's, hauled something into that, in that doesn't belong there. So we can't just walk through. How are we supposed to get past it? They're usually the result of some ritual. So whatever eldritch phase opened the cataract to begin with should thin it enough to get through. Tycho Erasmus Brahe peers up at the back arch. They aren't typically this big though. It's usually small time stuff resulting from light domestic magic dissolves in a couple hours. This would be a pretty big import. Let's see if we can crack it. I'm going to try to open the gate. Sure, go for it, but remember that it was a spell that opened it the first time. Make it spooky. Okay. Um, we got Galdebran, Maldebran, Gangalaha, Gangalgurio, and Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Uh, I'm gonna go over with this one. It's, it's got a lot of K's and G's in it. That means it's evil. Kangalaha, Kangalgurio. You hear your own words repeated, echoed by a chorus of wailing voices. They begin to moan, such as their hunger for any new voice, any new sound to punctuate their agony. Don't, don't, don't say anything else. But, don't. Okay, Galdebran, Maldebran. The black curtain of mist pulses and ripples. You weren't certain that you had anything to do with it. Okay, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Nothing happens. At least nothing you can see. Okay. Yog Moon Jal Halai. The swirling of the black vapor stops for a moment and becomes clear, but the scene presented beyond the board the gate is not that of the boardwalk. 
It is an apparently infinite plane composed of writhing ble bleached grubs. As if aware of your eye upon them, they begin to mew like hungry babes. I don't know what mew means. Suddenly the dark curtain ri returns. Ugh. Blech. I think that was Gehenna. Wow. I know where I'm going on vacation. Sesame Ouvtoi. Open sesame. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing happens. Uh, goodbye? Nothing happens. I found you very convincing. Were I a mystical gate, I would almost certainly have let you pass. Say you! Yes! Oh my god, that is old school. That's Johnny Thunder right there. Say you! Nothing happens. Damn it. Abracadabra? Abracadabra? Nothing happens. Then Alakazam, because I traded it. Nothing happens. Alright, all right, I think I'm done. Well, leave a gate. I guess I'll be off. There's no reply. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get through that just yet. Here's this guy still kicking for whatever reason. We will just uh, move past him. Did I already check you out? Yes, I did. So we will head back, and we will head back to the uh, beginning here, because I remember there was something that we could purchase for one of each, and I have one of each these days. Plus, I also kind of want to leave because I'm pretty sure I can upgrade some equipment here. And things around here are quite tough, so I would like to upgrade a lot of things. We can get some gauze. I got one thing. Is that good enough for you, man? I forgot that I was getting stuff for you. Hello again. Oh, hello. Apparently, yeah, no. I need all three. Yes, yes. We've gone over this. It is a wave with the quiet power. Indeed. So let's head over here. Uh, let's see what I can uh, buy for one of each. We've gone through all this. Let's see. Sale. Uh, this, uh, we do have enough tokens for the Sin Wheel. Very nice. We've got enough tokens for that Sin Wheel replica. Yes. Well, yes. Very well. A deal is, in fact, a deal. Isn't that what they say? Yes, a deal. He can't seem to tear his eyes from the miniature. The light blink on and off. No, the horn makes that sound, not this thing, damn it. Perhaps communicating with Curtis in some agreed upon language. I forgot his name was Curtis. I must have your assurance that this wheel will come to no harm in your care. Is urine harm? Gabriel's eyes grow wide. I must insist upon it. Uh, we're taking it to a guy we know. We're going to give it to this guy we know who pees on things. He stares at you for what seems like an entire day. He does not blink. It may never be dry again. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to pee on it like a thousand times. Your words kick his frail psyche through the, the uprights. He falls to the ground, rigid like a sequoia. You kneel to retrieve the twinkling wheel from a catatonic Curtis Swindle. Reputable vendor. So we have gotten the Sin Wheel. This is a toy version of the Boardwalk's Depraved Ferris Wheel. Very nice. Free to move on. Let's head back to uh, Aunt Claire's room before we do anything. Oh, God, we got 300 parts there. That is ridiculous. That is so much more than I thought I would get when I got there. I mean, I knew something was going to happen. But damn, that is a lot. Uh, while we're here, though, can I look at the case log? Did I actually get case number four? Now I got case number ten. And then number nine. That's case number four. That's going to drive me nuts. All right, let's get out of here. And I do anything with Fuchsia? I love you. Thank you, creepy robot. That explodes into colors. We have a thingy. Wait, we don't have a thingy. Work continues apace. I believe we are very close. I have parts to upgrade now. Yes, work your magic. Yes, we've gone over this. Uh, I have 310, which means I can do two. So, yeah, once again, we're going to go for the cheaper stuff. We can upgrade the knucks. The brass knuckles were a nice touch. Where can we go from here? Oh, I believe I've got just the thing. When in doubt, I found it best to add spikes. Brass knuckles with nasty bits. These knuckles have been further improved by the addition of mean twisty pieces. And then 154. Yeah, I wasn't going to be able to get tacos anyway. 
154 parts for my final rake upgrade. I think it may be time to upgrade my rake again. While you were away, I researched the battle rakes that were used by the Gardenar. The who? The Gardenar were a race of potent agromancers. I'm surprised you would turn to them for inspiration. Ordinarily, I wouldn't. I had little choice. The field of rake combat isn't especially broad. Here we have the rakest. Using a combination of science and painstaking research, Anne Claire has created an optimal rake. All right, so we're close. We still need a hundred and something to get Tycho's, but uh, damn it, we are close. We'll be back later. Good luck. All right, we are free to head back to Hobo Alley here. And we will see if we can get those last five parts. I think I actually looked this one up, in it, but I don't remember entirely what it said. But I know I didn't miss it. That's, that's something, though. That is something. It's taking forever to load for whatever reason. And there will still be more hobos for me to, to level grind on, I guess. Uh, none of these people are important because they move. Important people never move. This kerosene jug looks exactly like a hide fire hydrant, which is a terrible idea. Indeed, that is quite terrible. Can I avoid you? After we kick your ass as we're getting drunker. Hey, more hot toddy. Wimple fella sent you. You're dead meat. These guys should be easy enough. Let's see if I can actually kill them quickly here. Uh, they only have 120. Let's go for that. Oh, I just got the base damage here. Counterattack, though. They are resistant versus punches, which sucks. And I just upgraded that, too. The one thing I upgraded. Weak versus firearms. That is right, you guys. Die to bullets. Weaklings. I have so much health compared to them these days. I thought this would go a lot faster. I'll cut out the rest of these. No, do it. Yes, go. Dead. Just full on dead. 100 fold strike with the master rake. Down you go. Give me your piddling experience. Like, did it even make a dent? Oh, I gotta go for overkills again. That's right. I will, I will do that. All right, we need to head up to the urine guy. He stands still, therefore he's important. What the hell is this? Smell, yeah, it's crap. We got your uh, sin wheel here. As you approach Dr. Arnold P. Wimple's lavatory slash laboratory, he gets a glimpse of the prized wheel you carry. That's, that's, that, that is to say it is. It's a 164th scale model of the Boardwalk's biggest attraction, the, it's a 164th scale model of the Boardwalk's biggest attraction, the sin wheel. Do you know what I could do with such a thing? What I could accomplish? Uh, I've got a pretty uh, good idea what you can accomplish. You're going to pee on it, right? That's basically it? If by pee you mean urinate, yes, in fact. You've, you're welcome to remain for the procedure. Well, I'm actually, yeah, I'm in. This is like history or something. Technically, I think it's pistory. Well, whatever, fucking word guy. Hey, are you sure you don't want in on this? Uh, let's, uh, let's watch, I guess. Urinology is a crucial science, and I'm here to help in whatever way I can. Splendid, splendid. Dr. Ernel P. Wimple, the noted and possibly only practicing urinologist, prepares to make history. After carefully situating the sin wheel, he turns blessedly away from the party to prepare his apparatus. The ride begins to turn slowly as a weak jet of liquid rushes over the replica, trickling over the girders and filling the buckets where tiny men and women would sit. You hear a wheezing, exhausted carnival melody. The small lights of the wheel twinkle weakly and then go out, possibly forever. That is, that is interesting. It may even be profound. I am re-examining my entire existence is right. This experiment has rocked me to my core. He doesn't seem to hear you. He begins to fiddle with knobs. Blue flames begin to dance and liquids begin to boil. At one point, he pauses to shoo away a cat that has taken up residence on the work surface. Beakers are poured one to the other in an indecipherable flurry of motion. At the final tink, the fluid is vexed and then lies still. There! It is only right that you should have it, you who have contributed so much! 
Wait, what? What just happened? What is this stuff? The future! He returns impenetrably to his labors. We have Ultra Urine! This potent potty stretches the boundary of urine science. This is weapon upgrading stuff. And we have closed the Nobel P Prize case. H Hooray! What the hell just happened? <laughs> oh dear god. I, I don't even think I want to know. Now, once again, like if memory serves me correctly, there is something more that we can do here. So let's head back this way. And we'll head back to the shithole, uh, which I believe will have some robots for us to fight so we can get those last five parts for the area. And then I still think there's something I can do with the, the mime, but I'm not entirely sure. The, the vampire mime. That guy's been staying there forever. I feel like there's something I should do with him. Is there nothing here? Seriously? Okay, uh, what's in the shithole? Okay, I don't think this is it. Is this a thing? No. No. Damn it. No, these had the thing. Okay, so I'm not seeing really any place where the robots could be. I know that there is something around here that will give me five more robot parts, but I'm not seeing anything besides the normal breakable stuff. Nothing, nothing new, that's for sure. Oh, there they are, there he is entirely. And indeed that got me the last of the robot parts for this area and he still doesn't want the meat, right? Like I still need to figure out a way to get him meat. It's not mysterious and he needs legitimate meats. I don't know. Yeah, we need a way of masking that, and I don't know what that is. I really don't. I will have to figure that out. But I think we are more or less done here in Hobo Alley. I got all the robot parts. I've got all 122, just like I got all 19 from Desperation Street. I might look around there some more, see if there's anything else going on. But with that done, I think that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, Episode 1. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my carnival ruining squad of Adria, Gabe, and Tycho. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.